Hi, this is Jessica DeMassa with WTF Health, and I am here at Bayer's G4A Accelerator launch in New York City. And joining me right now, I have one of the startups who's participated. Um, this is Dawn Dixon. She is the founder and CEO of Popcom, which is a company that is using, wait for all these buzzwords, people, blockchain, facial recognition, uh, AI, and they're doing it in vending machines. So tell me about this, because this was just awesome to just rattle off all those buzzwords. What are you doing? Thank you. Thank you so much. So what we're doing is making vending machines smarter. Okay. And we're using the latest technology, as you said, blockchain, artificial intelligence, face recognition, to collect customer data at the point of sale and sell products of all types securely. Okay. So, I mean, we were talking about this. This is not to, like, necessarily buy a Snickers bar. This yeah. is like you've, you've come up with a healthcare angle on this. So tell me about the healthcare angle. Awesome. So the healthcare angle is really providing access to these products when customers need them the most. So placing nutritional products, placing supplements, even over-the-counter drugs in places like airports or convention centers or in apartment buildings, places that customers need them the most okay. and don't want to go to a store to get them. Get them. Okay, so you're talking about over-the-counter drugs. Is there potentially um, an application for something I would need a prescription for? Absolutely. So that's what we use blockchain for. So we use blo blockchain to turn the customer into a biometric hash. And so what that hash will contain is your prescription information or information around your age. So if you need to purchase something that's age requirement like alcohol, yeah. or if, there's a, if there is a regulation around how much you can consume of over-the-counter drug a month, the blockchain will say, okay, hey, you've had too much of this, or go ahead, you can still purchase it. That way you don't need a cashier to, to be in the middle. It's like takes a friction out of buying almost everything. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. So um, talk to me about some of the applications, because one of the things that we had just started talking about right before we went on was even like in, with cannabis. Yeah. So talk to me about how you guys are doing that. Yeah, so we actually developed the blockchain product because of the cannabis industry wanting to sell cannabis and vending machines. Okay. But as you know, if you've ever been to a dispensary, you have to get your ID checked several times. So with our biometric hash, the ID is verified in the app. You walk up to the machine, scan your QR code. It already knows that you're able to purchase the product, and the product is dispensed. That helped me realize, wait a minute, there's many products, we call it the regulated retail economy, there's many products that you need to verify your age or your identity to consume. And so we do that in vending, but we also have customers that sell shoes, hats, umbrellas, clothing, many different things can be sold in an automated retail environment. So is this something that you can add on to like an existing vending machine or are you guys actually manufacturing vending machines with like different kinds of cameras and things in them to help yeah. with this stuff? Great question. So yeah, we can integrate into existing vending machines, it's called our Popcom White Label Solution. Ooh. And then we also, <laughs> We also have a turnkey solution called the Pop Shop, and we've patent-pending this, this patent pending design of a vending machine that has two screens and two cameras, and what it does is deliver targeted content based on who's in front of it, because you'll get a different message than your 80-year-old grandmother or a 15-year-old teen, but there's many, you know, different messages for who that customer is. And then the experience is really like e-commerce, but the product comes out. So imagine yeah. shopping online at the kiosk, because it really is online, yeah. but then the product's delivered in real time. But the benefit is you can get all the product education right there. If you go to a store and the shelf is full of products and it's like, okay, which product is good for me? Which one is, which one do I need now? Well, the kiosk can help you compare those products and identify what do you need right now based on what you're experiencing. Okay. And now, so talk to me about the e-commerce part of this because I'm interested in how this is going to get paid for. And I, I, maybe you know where I'm going, maybe you don't. But I'm wondering too, like if I'm buying something and it is a prescription drug, will it know my insurance and whether or not there's a copay or what? Yeah. So you load everything into the app. So when you up upload your, your of course, your, your driver's license or your government ID, yep. your prescription, which will work, we're working with companies that already handle prescriptions over the blockchain. So okay. we didn't, you know, we don't have to invent, yeah. reinvent the wheel, exactly. <laughs> so we integrate all that into our token. It has payment, so you can pay with your credit card, you can pay with your face. We do have the pay with face technology. Cool. You can pay with the POP token, which will be coming out next year. Yeah. But um, yeah, everything is stored securely in that. And what it will know, it won't know your name. It will know this is a verified identity that can have this prescription, this product, this alcohol, this cannabis, or whatever. Okay, and then what's the data that you can collect on the back end of this? Because that's gotta be phenomenal. And so like, talk to me about what the possibility is there. Yeah, so on the front end, without any customer input, we connect, collect anonymously the customer identity as far as um, their age, their gender. So we'll say, this is a woman around this age, if it saw you, but it wouldn't know exactly who you are. Okay. We also calculate the conversion rate. So how many people walk by versus how many people actually complete a transaction, which okay. doesn't exist now in the automated retail environment. We also ask the customer for their information if they want to. So we don't take anything We're about privacy, but if right. you want to give the retailer your email for an offer or for a receipt or for loyalty, 
you can do it there. But then with their permission, we can get deeper insights. Okay. And that's, you know, but everything's about customer permission. With all these privacy breaches, we're all about you only give away what you want to give to the retailers that you want to share it with. All right, last question for you, because this is just, I mean, I can talk to you forever. So I'm curious too, I'm like, okay, so in a world where like Amazon can now deliver things to the trunk of my car in certain cities, <laughs> why do I want to go to a vending machine? What's the opportunity there for, for, especially in the healthcare space? There's no friction. So Amazon still has to be ordered and delivered. With the vending machine, you walk right up and get the product when you need it. And, and the, the uh, immediate, immediately, and, and, the, and the goal is to place these machines exactly where the customers are when they experience that need or that pain point. Okay. That way you can take out way Waiting an hour, even nothing is instant, but vending. There's nothing. Or going to the store, and even then, you have to wait in the line. So yeah. we're making things faster, less friction, compliant, and secure for the customer. That's so cool. This is just fascinating to me. Great application Thank of like you. a whole bunch of different technologies. Thanks I'm really so impressed. Yeah. All right. So if anybody wants to learn more, again, the company is Popcom with yes. an M at the end, like Pop Commerce. Yes. And your website was? It's popcom.shop. Making it easy. Shop. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Don. It was a pleasure to speak with you. I'm Jessica DeMasso with WTF Health.